My Annoying Neighbor, Part 9, a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction, written and narrated by Eleanor Rose. If you have not heard the previous eight parts of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. Now then, on to My Annoying Neighbor. Adrian found himself at the corner bar, sighing into a basket of fried shrimp. It wasn't even good fried shrimp, as he doubted they had a kitchen. They were either microwaved or stuck in an air fryer, but it didn't matter. The only thing worse than poorly fried shrimp is poorly fried chicken in terms of taste. He dipped an end into the container of mayo, playing instead of consuming it. That was a pretty deep sigh. He looked up to see the bartender cutting lemons and threw the appetizer back in the basket, splattering mayo across the counter. Some days are like that. What's on your mind? I... I don't know. Doesn't matter. The crease between your eyebrows testifies differently. Great. Adrian was the only customer here which wasn't surprising for three in the afternoon. I'm pursuing a girl, and not only do I mess up, but I'm getting an incredible amount of mixed messages. Girls are like that sometimes. I'm still trying to figure out mine. How long? Pardon? The bartender pulled out a hand juicer, still prepping for the evening rush. How long have you dated? Chloe and I have been together for... <sighs> he blew air in thought. Almost a year now. My roommate dated a Chloe once. Didn't end well for him. He laughed. Yes, well, I'm going to have to give this the best I've got. What's your name? Adrian. All right, Adrian. Want to open a tab? Nah. I should be going soon. The door jingled behind him, and he turned to see Nino strolling in. He lifted his fingers into a limp wave, unsure if he should greet the boyfriend of his neighbor's roommate. Well, the boyfriend of his neighbor, technically. Thanks for opening. I'll take it from here. Nino said, sliding his bag across the counter. Any time, the bartender said, setting down the juicer and wiping his hands. Besides, my girl loves the smell of citrus. You playing a show tonight? <laughs> you know it. The bartender double-clicked his tongue and disappeared into the back room. You work here? Adrian asked shoving his basket away and reaching to finish his drink. Part-time. He was doing me a favor. Catch the game last night? Please, I don't watch sports. Neither do I. Why'd you ask? I'm a slave to small talk. Is that why there's such little progress with Marinette? Adrian choked on his drink. <laughs> Who said that? Alia. Figures. Adrian stood up and stretched his back, curling like a cat before grabbing his wallet. What do I owe you? If you pick up ice cream for my girlfriend so I don't have to, we can call it even. His hand hovered above the cash. Seriously? That's like a quarter of the value. It's not what you know. It's who. That gave him an idea. Adrian sat down, pushing the basket away from him. And what do you know? About? Marinette. Oh, this sounds like a bargain on your end. I'm sure you've heard how I've utterly embarrassed myself at this point. Nino's smirk shriveled his courage. Well, my dude, if you must know, it's not as bad as you think. Really? 
Because at this rate, I'll get an ulcer before a girlfriend. She likes sunflowers. Sunflowers? And Mexican food. Really? He leaned in, curious. She has a tendency to fluster, and she's always thinking about the future. What she'll do, who she'll become, how she'll surprise her friends. She's always thinking about friends, too. How they'll respond, and what would make them happy. I'm not quite sure what her love language is, but it's got to be gifts or acts of service. Did that make sense? Well, I haven't gotten too far with gifts, Adrian said. Acts of service? I tried to make an ice cream parlor in her living room. I heard about that. Kind of a jerk move. Don't remind me. He could feel his ears turning pink. That isn't an act. Grand gesture, but still a gift, I'd say. Find something she's been trying to do and help her out with it, dude. Maybe that'll do it. Uh, like... That's all I've got. You'd have to ask Alia. Usually I'd say clean her bathroom or something, but not in this case. Adrian chuckled out a sigh and stood up, placing a bill on the counter for the talk. Thanks, man. Anytime. He turned to leave, mixed emotions rolling in his stomach. Okay, Adrian, you've got this. You're like the king of Pinterest. It's not something you usually brag about, but surely you can find something on there, right? All right. The pep talk didn't do much for him, so for now, he could only put one foot in front of the other. Experience said it wasn't going to be all right, per se, and he didn't find himself hopeful. But realistically, the most embarrassing moments were behind him. He'd get through this. Positive or negative. He'd get through this. Thank you so much for listening. Part 10 is on its way. I'll catch you guys next week.